So my sister woke me up this morning to get Krispy Kreme. And so we drove 40 minutes and we waited online for one hour, but we're almost at the front now. So yay. Mm. Okay, I finally went over the hump soon. Excellent work. Metaphorically and in real life. So one of the wheels on our car is being weird. So we're stopped out here and we're waiting for my parents to come pick me up. And I'm gonna eat these donuts stressfully. I'm actually parked in front of my friend's house. She's staring at me from the window. Was this worth it? Yes. Actually, I don't know, it's kind of cold outside. Okay, so my mom and dad came to get the car because it was acting super weird. And then I came home, had lunch, and now it's somehow four o'clock. I don't know how that happened, but yeah, I'm super tired. I think I'm gonna clean up my room and decide if I want to take a nap. I also have a paper that I wanna get done today. We'll have to see. So my room's not completely clean, but it's good enough. And I'm just super tired. I think I'm just gonna take a quick nap. So here's my thought on naps during quarantine. I try to take them as early on in the day as I can so that it doesn't disrupt with my actual sleeping schedule. So if I um, take a nap too close to my bedtime, which is around midnight and one. So if I take it at like 7 p.m. or after, I will not be able to sleep at night. So I think I'm gonna take a nap right now and then finish my paper after that. I normally don't procrastinate my papers or anything like that. I really hate writing things last minute, but this actually isn't due for a long time. I'm just trying to get it out of the way. So I'm in no rush right now. So I'm gonna take a nap and then write my paper. this beautiful sunset that's happening from my window and it's so sunny even though it's been cloudy all day okay it's time to get my stuff together and finally write my paper just while i have a minute with the sun i thought i'd talk a little bit about how i've been dealing with the quarantine I have pretty bad anxiety and I've had it for a long time and I used to be really embarrassed about talking about it but now I've just been enjoying sharing my experiences and telling people how I've been working through it. I think in a time like this it's really important that we don't ignore these things and that we talk about it as much as we can. So these are just three things that I've been doing to sort of maintain my anxiety and ensure that I don't feel trapped at home. So the first thing that I've been doing is just letting myself be sad and to feel a lot of things. This can be really hard to do and I struggled with it the first week or so that I've been in quarantine. I think my initial thought was that I'm not allowed to be sad because this isn't making my life that much more difficult. I just have to stay at home and then I felt really guilty about being sad. So I thought I shouldn't be sad. I get to take a break and I get to chillax at my house. I think that somehow made my anxiety a lot worse because I felt so congested with how I felt. And so by letting myself cry and feel sad if I need to, I felt a lot less congested and felt a lot of relief. My second piece of advice is to just have a space that is just for yourself. I know this can be really, really difficult. People are moving back in with their parents or are stuck at a place that they might not be used to. Maybe you're in a shared space that you don't really have your own section, but trying to find that space is really important. And I think for me, it's been incredibly helpful. I luckily have my own bedroom, so having my own space has been easy here. But previously in my old house, when I didn't have my own space, I would go hide in my car or in the garage and just have my space there. By having my own space, I can cry or I can pray, I can read a book, 
not that I ever really read, but I can just listen to my own music and I don't feel as trapped and I don't feel other people encroaching on that space because it's made just for me. I remember being in elementary school and middle school and just hiding in my garage. I would sit on a lawn chair in my garage and it wasn't the best space, but it was my own. And then my third piece of advice would just be to stay busy, but don't let it overwhelm you. I know all of the YouTubers I watch are about getting on that grind and being productive. And while that is helpful, I don't think being productive constantly is productive. So it's kind of counterintuitive. I've just been staying busy, but not always productive. I love building Legos and it's something that I've enjoyed since I was a kid. So me and my sister have been doing that and it's a lot of fun and it might not necessarily be productive, but it's been creative. I've been able to spend a lot of time on it and it's really enjoyable. I also love painting, doing puzzles and watching YouTube videos. I know that's not considered productive, but it's just been really helpful for me to pass the time and to ease my mind as much as I can. I also have by planner that I love and I've just been stretching things out. I have papers due, but instead of writing them collectively in three days, I might write it in a span of a week. And that way I am both busy and not overwhelmed with the work that I have to do. So those are my three tips. Of course, that's not everything I do. There's a lot of other stuff going on, but it has helped tremendously in reducing my anxiety while I'm at home. And with that being said, I'm gonna go write my paper. I have finally made it to my desk so I can write my paper. Okay, here we go. So I'm writing a paper about invasive species at the Galapagos Islands, which is super interesting because, I mean, you learn about Galapagos Islands when you're like a kid and it sounds like a magical place. And then it's also sort of sad that a lot of it's being destroyed and killed because people want to go see it and tourism and things like that. So I feel like I'm learning a lot about how I travel and the impact that my travel has when I go to the place because as much as I want to see the beauty, I also want to preserve the beauty so it's there for a long time. So it's kind of blowing my mind as I'm writing this paper. Okay, I took quite a long break having dinner and hanging out with my sister, watching some House of Cards with my mom, even though I saw that a long time ago. I'm gonna finish writing my paper now. I think I can be done in the next hour or so. It's already midnight, but I'm not tired because of the nap that I had earlier. So here we go. It's 1.30 and I'm done with my paper. That actually took a lot less than I thought it was going to take, but I actually got to get up early and go to a meeting, even though it's Sunday, which is so annoying. That should be something to do and something to get me up in the morning. I think for now, I'm just going to get into bed and watch some TV so that I can eventually fall asleep. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye.